there's a lot of stories of Apple people that got divorced during the development of the iPhone because Steve Jobs wouldn't let them leave work for weeks and their wives thought they were cheating and they just left them and they couldn't tell their wives what they were working on. Ah, uh, I forget where, but there was one video and I brought up one of it, one of their pillars that they said, because I can't think of another word besides pillar. And, uh, no, I think it was a book. I think it's like, uh, a, a Napoleon Hill book. And they're like, yo, you gotta come home and if you're making a lot of money, right? Work and providing for a family, but sometimes your family gets a little, uh, fatigued with your lack of being around and you gotta be like, yo, this is exactly what I'm doing at work and this is how it's getting it done dude so if you don't have that privacy and steve's like now nah, you can't tell him about that haptic touch then you might get some uh little chain link uh broken there yeah it's also like damn you want to be at work because you know you're working on something awesome <laughs> but your wife is like you're fucking bitches aren't you <laughs> that's why that's, that was part of the part of the uh transparency of exactly what you're doing at work be like yo steve steve <laughs> Steve doesn't want me to tell you. Yeah, I wonder who, like, because first of all, like, let's be honest. Nobody actually told their wives because their wives would immediately get on the phone to call their sister and say, you'll never guess what Henry's working on. You know? I don't think they gave uh, it. Was, it was a little sexist joke. Never mind. But, uh, okay. I don't know. Yeah, I'll, I'll just tell my wife. Dude, fuck it. Like, yeah, I'm, working <laughs> on a goddamn, I'm working on a phone. That's bitch, cool. chill. They didn't give the chance for anybody to to know what they're working on. Oh yeah, I would guess it'd be like honestly, I don't fucking know. No, I I literally don't know. It's <laughs> a screen, and you can touch it with two fingers, and you can do things at the same time with it. They're doing like a, some kind of. <sighs> maybe I don't know what the fuck it is. I don't know. <laughs> oh, what the hell it could possibly? He's he's having us make fucking little circles, little <laughs> plastic circles. And I don't know what the hell that could fucking be. Pay me well, then I got health care. I wonder what the thing was. Uh, I read a thing about the Apple iPhone camera. And it said something like, I don't it, like an extraordinary number of people were on it, like thousands working on the iPhone camera. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't know how many it was. I didn't look it up. Delegation, dude. Well, I have the internet at my disposal. <laughs> Until they take it away. <laughs> Until the government shuts it off at eight o'clock. Twenty oh, no. <laughs> eight p.m. lockdown, no internet. You think productivity would go up a little bit, bro? Riots, no riots, <laughs> riots. That's like, no dude, communication, dude. Time to go down, dude. Let's go. And within seconds, people would take to the street. <laughs> Guaranteed. You know, you know when you're in a, in a household with more than one person, more than just yourself, and the Wi-Fi goes out. And then all of a yeah, sudden, yeah. you just feel a, a thickness in the air. <laughs> and so everybody's bad. like, uh, hold on, is uh no internet or what? It's like you can go a couple of days without running water, <laughs> without heat, without power. But as soon as you turn off the Wi-Fi. It's a little weird. You're like, oh, well, I mean, like, I need it back. I guess back. I got to look at my hands. <laughs> I guess I want to go to the library and I have to look up coding, I guess. Holy shit. What are you going to look up coding in a book? What are you going to learn to code from a fucking book? 